ladies. Hi, hi, hi. Good night. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another live. Um, waiting for a few more persons because I don't think we can play bingo with just um I don't know how many of us are online now. It was five, but we can't play bingo with just five of us. So am I hearing a feedback? I'm going to give persons a few more minutes. And if you notice, I already sent out the link to some persons. So that's your individual link, ladies. So when I send that link to you, that's the link you're going to use to play in your bingo game. All right. Can I get a wave or a hi from the persons who are online? How many of my ladies are online? No, I don't even know. But we're going to have some fun tonight. So even if it's two of us, three of us, five of us, we're going to have some fun tonight and we're going to play Peribingo because we can't allow perimenopause and menopause to be the only one having the fun. So we're going to have some fun with it tonight. All right. Now, if you'd like to be a guest online and you don't have to turn on your cameras because I know some of you are just totally too shy. You don't have to turn your, turn on your cameras, but if you want to come, what they call on stage with me, then just let me know and I'll send you the link and you can join as well. That way, I don't feel like I'm all alone up here talking to myself because that's how I feel most Sundays when I'm doing this, that I'm talking to myself, even though I see you and I'm having the, the um, Hi Farm Solutions. Hello, how are you? Happy Sunday, thanks for joining. Let me send you your bingo link right away. Um, let me send you your bingo link so that you can play along. So once you open the links that I've sent you, you see a, you're supposed to see a black and white card come up and it has some words in each um, block. Now I'm gonna read the questions and you're gonna select the block. The right answer from the card block. If you get, and most of you know how bingo goes, if you get five across, five in any direction, then you are the bingo winner and you need to yell or shout or type in the chat, bingo, so I can see it and know that you are the first place winner for tonight. Now, you may be wondering what your prizes are. I'll tell you about the prizes at the end. I'm not going to tell you what any prizes, if there's any, from now. I'm going to tell you at the end. But you get to play bingo tonight and have some fun on this lovely Sunday evening. Um, I don't know if everybody online here is from Jamaica. If you're not, can you just drop in the chat and let us know where you're joining from? All right. While we wait, I have a little um, thing. I found it on Instagram. Someone shared it with me on Instagram, and I said I would play it for you, ladies. Two of them, actually. So here goes the first one. <laughs> So that one was just showing all the different symptoms and how they play havoc in our lives when we're going through perimenopause and menopause. All right, so who else do I have on that I need to send the link to? Hi, Alrico, nice. What's the weather like in Florida right now? Is it as hot as it is here in Jamaica? Hi, 
Hi, Trisha. I don't think I need to ask what the weather is like in Canada because I don't think it, it matters where you are in Canada. It is cold or it's getting cold right now. Am I correct? Hi, Kenya. Thanks for joining. All right. While we wait, I'm going to play the other one. Um, hi, Marsha in Barbados, one of my favorite little islands. You're waiting your card, Marsha. I didn't send you your card. Oh, I'm so sorry. And to think that you were the first one here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and you know, I have your card assigned to you right here, but I didn't send it. All right, that's your card, Marsha. Nice weather, Alrika. That's very good right now. Today was a little bit um, cooler than normal, but all of a sudden when I decided to get ready to come on under the light, I started having one of my hot flash situations. So I have three fans on me currently. Hi, Miss Dollar. I like that name, Dollar means the money up, oh, right? Let me send you your link so you can join to play bingo. What I'm gonna do when the other persons come on, if they come on after we start playing, I'm just gonna drop a series of um, links in the chat and they're just gonna have to randomly choose their Trisha Lockwood, yes, it's cold. I can imagine Canada is getting very cold at this time of year. But please keep warm and keep safe. Okay, so let me play the other the other thing for you while we wait for a few more minutes. I'm just gonna play this one and then we're gonna start. And did you know that the only two species on planet Earth to go through menopause are female humans and killer whales? <laughs> and I'm guessing they weren't killer whales <laughs> until after they went through it. <laughs> I'm sure they were fun, outgoing whales. <laughs> with full lips and a good metabolism. <laughs> and once a female goes through menopause, she then becomes the leader of the pod. Yeah, I'm guessing it's not voted on. <laughs> I'd say she just makes an announcement. There's gonna be some changes <laughs> up in here. And did you know that the only two species on planet Earth? No. Who believes that? That we're morphing into killer whales and we're just going to start telling people, oh, there are going to be some changes around it. I think I've already started to do that, but that's a sad point. How do we open the link on YouTube at the same time? Just click on the link. It will um just click on the link, Alerka. It will open in your browser. Oh, you're using your phone. Hmm. I I also have them in picture format, but a different type. Um oh I have them in picture form, but it's it's not going to be easy, as easy to use them as the link that I sent. Because the link that I sent you, once you open it, you can just click on each section and it will um, put an X there for you. So you know that that's the one that you selected. And so you'll know how easily, um, you'll know when you get to bingo. And then I will also be able to check the link to verify that you made bingo. I forgot that most persons are going to be joining from phone and not a desktop or a, even a tablet. Um, the only other way to do it 
is if you're on YouTube via browser and not via the app. Because then you'd, you'd be able to hear it while you're on the browser just the same. All right. What I may have to do is to... Oh, um, someone has just said that you can use split dual mode. Now, if you're on Techie like me, can you please explain to them how to do that? <laughs> If you are using your phone, you may need a second device. True, you may need your tablet, or you can open YouTube in your browser instead of using the app. If you use your browser instead of the app, then you can do both. Hmm. All right, here's what. I'm going to find a different solution because there's always a solution to the problem. Let me see if I can find the solution first. Um, I'm currently using three devices. <laughs> That's how unticky I am. Um, I think I can share, let me try and share these and then see if that works. Well, Marsha says she's using two devices. Um, Trisha says, uh, Kina says, or is it Trisha? Oh, Trisha is using a second device. Uh, Kina, do you have a second device that you can use? Or do I need to send you a PDF version, which will be actually different from the link? Or picture format, which will be different from the link? Let me know if what I, if, if, if it works, Trisha, so that we can, um, Kenya, sorry, so that we can start. Okay, Alrika's use, Alrika, Marsha, Trisha, using a second, second device, Farm Solutions, you're doing a split, a dual mode, and um, Kenya, just let me know if you can, if you have a second device can use or you can do the dual mode and let me know so I can find a workaround for you. Because we're going to start because we need to be having fun. Okay, Kina, you have our second. Okay. All right. Marsha has given a different solution as well. She's using her mon a second monitor as well as her laptop. All right. So we are going to start and we're going to have some fun, right? And the first, let's see who gets bingo first tonight. That will be, that, that's going to be interesting. So I'm sorry for the persons who join late, but, um, if I send them the card, they may not even get to play bingo, play the entire game, but that's okay. You are here, you're the early birds, and I'm going to start with you. All right, so here goes the first question. At what age do most women start their exciting journey into perimenopause? Okay, so let's go again. The first question is, let me put it here so I can see it properly. At what age 
do most women start their exciting journey into perimenopause? And just a hint, there are two possible answers, but I'm not going to tell you which two. Eh? You're going to have to guess the right one. I have a feeling that I did not send someone there. All right, are we, can, I, can I move on to just drop a thumbs up if I can move on to question two? Is that how they played in real bingo though? I have a confession, I've never played bingo before. This is my first bingo game. <laughs> All right, question two. What's the fancy medical term for the grand finale of monthly period that usually happens during the transition. What's the fancy medical term for the grand finale of monthly periods that usually happen during the transition? Question three. Which superstar hormone takes a bit of a vacation during perimenopause, often causing a commotion? Which superstar hormone takes a bit of a vacation during perimenopause, often causing some commotion? There are two of those major hormones, but which one of them takes a little vacation during perimenopause? Question four. True or false? Are hot flashes the sizzling sensation that many women experience during perimenopause and menopause? So true or false, are hot flashes the sizzling sensation that many women experience during perimenopause and menopause? That's question number four. Um, hi, Trisha. No, I don't need to give you the answers. You need to guess the answers. The answers are on the, the answers are on the, um, the thing, the bingo card that you have. So you need to select the answer based on a question I just asked. And then if you get five in any direction, then you are the bingo winner. Remember that. So how this game goes is that I read the questions, the answers are on the bingo card that you have. You select the answer of what you think is correct based on the question I asked. And then if you get five correct across the board, diagonal, whatever, five in a straight line, any direction, and you are the bingo winner. Is that, is that clear? Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Well, it's been played a different way today. <laughs> Especially because, and, and, and it's, it's being done this way because we're all not in the same space or we're not all on a platform. I was trying to get us on Teams where everybody, I could see what everybody's doing and we could have a more of an interactive session, but that wasn't working out. So I'll give you the answers afterwards but I'm just going to go through and you select the best answer. And if you say bingo before I'm finished, then I'll just double check your answers. And if you're the winner, then the game stops there for tonight. All right. So I was at question number four. So question number five, what's the main culprit behind the roller coaster of perimenopausal symptoms, making it a quite a show? So there's something that happens in our body during perimenopause that makes it a beautiful roller coaster ride. What is that? Question five. 
What do we call the medical condition when Auntie Flo visits erratically and throws a big party during perimenopause? What do we call the medical condition when Auntie Flo visits erratically and throws a big party during menopause? During perimenopause or menopause? Actually, perimenopause, not menopause, sorry. All right, Marsha says, I would love the answers to confirm if I'm marked correctly. All right, okay, so we're at question number six. So let me go over and give you the answers for one to six to see if anybody has bingo so far. So question one was, at what age do women start their exciting journey into perimenopause? The answer for that is late 40s to early 50s. Question two, what's a fancy medical term for the grand finale of monthly periods that usually happens during menopause? The answer is menopause. I deliberately left off the last part of the question because that would be giving you the answer. So question three, which superstar hormone takes a bit of a vacation during perimenopause, often causing a commotion, and that's estrogen or estrogen, however you pronounce it. Question four, true or false? Are hot flashes a sizzling sensation that many women experience during perimenopause and menopause? And that answer is true. Question five, what's the main culprit behind the roller coaster of perimenopausal symptoms, making it quite a show? That's hormonal changes. And question six, what do we call the medical condition when antiflo visits erratically and throws a big party during perimenopause? That's menorrhea. How many persons? Oh, nobody don't reach finger yet? You have six questions already. Nobody? Nobody don't bingo yet? Or close to bingo? Anybody close to bingo? Trisha, Kenya, Erica, anybody close to bingo? Or you don't get any of the answers yet? <laughs> what? Close. You notice that Trisha not showing her hands enough. Trisha says, I'm close. She's not telling you how close she is, but she's close. <laughs> All right, let's go. Question number seven. Name the dynamic duo of hormones that tend to take a siesta during menopause, causing all the buzz. Name the dynamic duo of hormones that tend to take a siesta during menopause, causing all the buzz. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'm going to read um, up to 10 and then give you the answers. Question eight. What's the prequel? to perimenopause, where hormonal changes start, but the monthly movie is still playing. What's the prequel to perimenopause, where hormonal changes start, but the monthly movie is still playing? What's that called? It's the one before the peri. So yes, menopause has many stages. There's a that, the perimenopause, the menopause, the post, Menopause, yeah. Question nine. What's the term for the process of bones getting a little thin and fragile often during the menopause act? That one should be quite easy. And I hope it's lining up with your already um, almost bingo line. What's the term for the process of bones getting a little thin and free? Often during the menopause act. And question 10, how long does the perimenopausal stage usually last keeping the spotlight 
for a few years. All right, so I'm going to go back to question seven. Question seven was, name the dynamic duo of hormones that tend to take a CSA during menopause, causing all the buzz, and that's estrogen and progesterone. Question eight was, what's the prequel to perimenopause where hormonal changes start with a monthly movie still playing, and that's pre-menopause? That's two more. Anybody still not close yet or closer? Question nine, what's the term for the process of bones getting a little thin and fragile, often during a menopause act, and that is osteoporosis? Question 10, how long does the perimenopausal stage usually last, keeping the spotlight for a few years, and that's four to eight years? Should I ring the bell now and see how many persons have gotten bingo? Nobody has gotten bingo as yet? Nobody? Come on. Do we have any newcomers in the host that I need to share the card with? I don't think so. Ma no, Marsha. Marsha is asking, guys, if she can switch something to win. That is not how the game is played. That is unfair playing. <laughs> Question 11. About 50% of women experience what dry situation down on the during menopause? Ladies, this one's supposed to get you to the winning line. About 50% of women experience what dry situation under, down under during menopause? Question 12. So I'm going to read two and then give you the answers. Question 12. What do you call that sudden parry feeling that can make you want to turn on your AC and the fan at the same time? What's that fiery feeling that make that sun that suddenly makes you want to turn on the AC and the fan at the same time? Or like me, I have on three fans. So what's that situation called? So back to question eleven. About fifty percent of women experience what dry situation down under, and that's vaginal dryness. And question twelve is hot flashes. Okay, somebody wants a card. Uh, hold on, although you've missed 12 questions, but you never know, you may actually just win just the same. Your card is coming up. Give me a minute so I can drop it in. Marsha just said bingo, that's not fair. Marsha? I'm just sending out the card to someone else. How can you be bingoing? I need to see your card, Marshall. I need proof that you just bingoed. I am going to put you on as a guest, which I think you are already a guest if only I could get this thing to. Uh, Marshall, I had sent you a link. You need to join and prove to me that you've just been good. Oh, you sent me back. Yay, Marsha. <laughs> Con you know, I just feel like I just bad man here a while ago, Marsha. I'm so sorry. Congratulations, you've been good at question 12. Not even fully halfway, but I still need to prove. What card number did you get, Marsha? Number one? Because if you got number one, I can tell whether or not you've been good. I can I can I can find out if you've been good. Um
Oh, I have, hold on. I have. <laughs> Hi, Marsha. <laughs> Why am I not hearing you? Is your thing muted, Marsha? Um. Okay, I'm trying to get the layout. Um, I'm not sure why I'm not seeing you. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I had to add you. Here I'm I am, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the here was not, was not so. Congratulations! Thank you. How do I show you my card? Um, you know, there's supposed to be a way that if you tell me the number, I can find out if you've been good. Yes or no? I zero zero one. But um, I need to remember how to do that. <laughs> I think I can also open. The link. I think I can also open the link. I can. I can't. Mm. All right. I can't. I can't. I knew this today earlier. I did. I promise you that I did. There was a way to figure out to, to tell me that you you being good. That's why I use this virtual thing. There was a way to tell me that you've been good, except that no, that you've been good. Um, I can't remember all you've been good to tell that you've been good. But can you do a snapshot of it for me? Okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. So Marsha has been good. Now I need to know if I should, if I should continue to see if somebody else gets a chance to bingo. Cause Marsha just wins. There up. it is. I'm sharing screen. I'm not seeing you. But Marsha has been a congratulations, Marsha. So the prize is is that you come on screen and tell us that you <laughs> and also based on the questions here that's be, that made you win, which one of them made you win? Which questions did you win bingo through from? Marsha, you're gone again. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you now. All no. right. I got the one about estrogen. The no, one just where the answer was estrogen. I got it in the second column to your left. So you have, you have five no, columns no, just starting tell me, from the left. Just, just the tell me. The, just estrogen. tell me. The answer was estrogen. Right. Just tell me the um the, the question number. Sorry. Hello, Jen. I didn't write down from one to six. Oh, okay then. All right, no problem. Let me just open back my thing and then I, I can tell you which one it was. Um, all right, so you got the one that says estrogen. That was question three, right? Then pre-menopause, which was question eight. Uh-huh. Pre-menopause, question eight. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. And then osteoporosis. No, sorry, 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 sorry. Hot flash, which was question 12. Right. Four to eight years, which was question 10. Uh-huh. And finally, estrogen and progesterone, which, which was question, question seven. seven. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so, so that was it. Oh, great. So you got... But you okay, said so you're going to give a second place. Yes. So I'm going to continue from... I think we stopped at 12. Yes. So I'm going to do a few more till we get another another winner who will come on. And then I have a question for each of the winners. For the first prize winner and the second prize winner, you have a question to answer. So let's continue and see. Um, are my ladies still here? And I hope... Yes, do full house, please. <laughs> Okay. All right. Question number 13. Which vitamin known for its role in bone health is often recommended as part of the menopause ensemble? So which vitamin known for its role in bone health is often recommended as part of the menopause ensemble? And your answer should be vitamin D. Now, if you never mark it before, you know, don't mark it. Let me tell you the answer, you know. I trust you all, okay? Question 14. What's the goal to treatment for the leading roles of severe menopausal symptoms like hot flashes? What's the goal to treatment for the leading role of severe menopausal symptoms like hot flashes. Question 15. What's the primary job of progesterone in the menstrual storyline? What's the primary job of progesterone in the menstrual storyline? So question 14 was what was it to go the go to what's it to go? <laughs> what's the go to treatment for the leading role of severe menopausal symptoms like hot flashes? And the answer to that is hormone replacement therapy, HRTs. And we spoke a little about HRTs in our last session uh, when we had Sharon Piani on, and we spoke about it in the session before that. And one of the things that we discussed is that in Jamaica, most of our gynecologists and doctors do not recommend HRTs because of the severe side effects that they can have. Um, and if they do recommend it, it's only for a few months and then they pull you off of it. But there are a lot of other natural um, treatments that are now available that persons can explore hopefully without the added side effects of the regular HRTs. The other question was, what's the primary job of progesterone in the menstrual storyline? And the answer to that is preparing the uterine lining for pregnancy. All right, we're off to question 16. Nobody else on bingo yet? Okay, question 16. What's the title of the first year after the grand finale of the menstrual series, marking the official start of menopause. What's the title of the first year after the grand finale of the menstrual series, series marking the official start of menopause, which a lot of us are hoping and waiting to get to. And the answer is post-menopause. So remember earlier I told you that there are different stages. So everything is classified as menopause, but then you have pre-menopause, you have perimenopause, you have menopause, and you have post-menopause. Um, I actually should bring up something I should. <gasps> Alaric had just bingoed it. Yay! So Miss Alaric, Marsha, seriously? Seriously, I'm going to drop the link in the chat the, so that you can join on screen. Um, hold on, let me find back. 
Um, let me find back the link. Oops. Let me try. Uh, Marsha, can you do me a favor? Can you drop the link in the chat for me? I think it's easier. Um, can you drop the StreamYard link I shared with you so that the other persons can, Alakirk and anybody else can come on now? Congratulations, Alakirk. Marsha, how can you bingo again, though? I think your card just something wrong with your card. Huh? Although it's me, but the card and but still. I'm ready for part. <laughs> okay. Um, Marsha, where did Marsha disappear to? All right, let me see if I can just copy. Um, I didn't want to have to switch screens, but uh, let's see if this can work quickly. All right, so the link that I'm sharing here, persons can click on it and you can join. I can have up to, I think, six persons online. So each time somebody bingos, I'm gonna pull you online and welcome you to the stage. So, Alrika, it's your turn to hop on to the stage because you've been good. So, I have another bingo winner. Masha, you disappeared. Oh, what did I do? Enrico? Oh, you're not ready for prime time. <laughs> you can always turn off your, your camera. No, you don't have to have on your camera. Marsha, how is it possible that you've been good again? I'm having a difficulty. Listen, man. The thing is... Are you sure? <laughs> Listen. I had a beautiful card. <laughs> yes. Trisha, Kenya, everybody else, what happened? You, you guys not been going? What's going on? Why are they making Marsha win all the games? Marsha, you are not, Marsha, you are not allowed to play after this. You can mark it on your card, but you can't bingo again. That's unfair. You bingo twice, you cannot bingo a third time. Okay, man? <laughs> Give the others a fair chance <laughs> as well. So Alika is has bingo. Um Alika can just drop your the winning your winning questions in the chat for me because she's not ready for prime time. Look here, girls. You were going to be on Pink playing bingo tonight. What do you mean by you're not ready for prime time? You're supposed to nice up our spruce up. Are you going to be playing a game? I don't understand. You know how long it takes to put on a little dress here and do a little makeup? Yeah, because we're going to be playing bingo. But I think it was Trisha who wanted to do full house. No, Trisha, remember I said earlier, I've never played bingo before in my life. So does that mean that I read all questions to 25? <laughs> so that we see if we get the full house. <laughs> Marsha, is that how it goes? I think that is, oh, Trisha said yes. Okay, Trisha, so I'm gonna continue because I need you to get full house. Marsha, you're not allowed to answer anything else. You can silently mark it on your paper. But you're not allowed to be working, okay, ma'am? Why you sound like you're not agreeing with me? Okay. So we were at question 16. Okay. 17. <clears throat> what term best describes the emotional roller coaster and dramatic changes in personality that can accompany perimenopause 
and menopause. What term best describes the emotional roller coaster and dramatic changes in personality that can accompany perimenopause and menopause? And I go through that every day. Um, Erica, I think I um I did something wrong. So can you just um <laughs> kick back the link for me? When you're trying to maneuver um, three devices, that's what happens. <laughs> I'm going to get it right at some point. Don't worry. So, Arika, as soon as you're back in, I will, I will let you in. I will bring you on stage. All right. So, oh, what? mood swings is the answer for that question, by the way. Mood swings. So that's that's the emo emotional roller coaster and dramatic changes that we go through, the whole mood changes and mood swings. And today, you're, this minute you're happy, the next 10 minutes, somebody asks you how you're doing the ball and down the place, the next minute you're, you're wondering what is going on with you. But yeah. Question 18. What's the suggested non-hormonal remedy for the dry spell in the, vag in the vagina narrative during menopause so what's the suggested non-hormonal remedy for the dry spell in the vaginal narrative during menopause ding 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 what that game show again um the answer is you should have guessed it by now. Alrico, being guy again? Hold on, what's going on? I think I didn't put these cards together very well. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, Alrico, you definitely have to come on screen. And two, you, you like Marsha, you cannot continue to play after this. Or rather, you can continue to play silently. And if you bingo again, we, we cannot, you cannot announce it. Okay? We need to give the others a chance. So it's two for two. Marsha two, Alrika two. Wow. It sounds like we're having a race going down to the end. Let's see who can get full house first then. This will be interesting. So question 19, what can help the breakdown of bone during the intermission and after the menopausal show? What can help prevent the breakdown of bone health during the intermission and after the menopausal slowdown? And if you were in the last session, this answer would be very easy for you. And if you hear a dog in my background, that's my next door neighbor's dog. So, what's, what can help to prevent the breakdown of bone health during the intermission after the menopausal show? And that's weight-bearing exercises. Remember in our last session, we spoke about strength training, and that is what it is, strength training. And if you care, I that's my next one. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good. So you being got again, but you and I being and I being again just now. <laughs> All right, me don't run. Me finish play. Somehow I don't think I did these cards very well. How can you bingo three times and we're not in at question twenty yet? We're just about to be question twenty. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see who gets the full house first. This is a race down to 25. How are you? So. I'm good. <laughs> so, question 20. What often is what we This is what we just do. What often disrupts a peaceful slumber during menopause, creating a midnight drama? 
What often disrupts peace, your peaceful slumber during menopause after? During menopause, creating a midnight drama, and that also happens in perimenopause, so it's not only menopause. Who is that? <laughs> That's you, and you're echoing. <laughs> I think you have a delay on oh, your side. Two different something going. Hold on. Right. So you mean you to mute one of them? Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna give you the answers from 20 to 25. I'm not gonna give you the answers. I am going to read all of them and then I'll do the answers because I wanna see. But then again, I think everybody's just gonna get to bingo very quickly. Hmm. 21, true or false, does weight gain of a sneak onto the stage during perimenopause and menopause? That's an easy one. True, true or false, does weight gain oh. sneak onto the stage during menopause and, men and perimenopause? <sighs> I spoke about this in the very first session. So you should be able to guess the answer. Question 22, and then I'll do the answers for these three. What's estrogen's main gig in the female body, aside from being a hormone superstar? So we all know that estrogen is the hormone superstar in our bodies, but what's the main gig, though? That's quite of a long answer, and I just gave away oh, the answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just gave away the answer by saying that. Trisha, Tina, what happened to the rest of you? you, you know, it's not possible that you have not bingo the answer. We're at question 22. You must have bingo already. Or did I lose you? You must have bingo already, man. Now, make Alrika and Marsha be taking over everything. <laughs> What about Miss Dollar? Well, like the name that she had of Dollar. Um, you didn't bingo? No, sir. It's not right. Although this makes me sound like I'm jealous of you to be the ones who are being there. But... Oh, Trisha says she's just waiting for full house. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay, Trisha. Almost there. Let's go. Let's finish. Exactly. One, so, question twenty-one was true. Does weight gain often sneak up on you? Yes, um, and testimony of that. Um, Twenty-two was estrogen's main gig, and I gave away the answer by saying it's a long one. It's regulating the menstrual cycle and supporting re re reproductive health. Question twenty-three. We're going down to the wire. What's the name of the era? When perimenopause typically starts, marking the beginning of some interesting changes. And if you got the other one right, like yeah. one of the did for her Bingo. first set of... <laughs> Alaka, did I not tell you that you can say that word again? <laughs> That's not fair. But okay. For three times. What's a lucky thing when I have no main prize? <laughs> I, I would I would be I would be dishing out prizes left, right, and center tonight. I need to look at how I did this game so next time I can do it differently and make it harder. Of course, and the answer to that is 40s to early 50s. So what's the name of the era when perimenopause typically starts marking the beginning of some interesting changes? And that's 40s to early 50s. Question 24. Second to last one. What's the term for the grand finale when Auntie Flo takes her final bow and exits the stage for 12 consecutive months? What's the term for the grand finale when Auntie Flo takes her final bow and exits stage left for 12, second, 12 consecutive months? And the answer to that, ding, 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 ding. 
I needed to have that song from, what's the name of Wheel of Fortune? No, is that, is that Wheel of Fortune? One of them. No, it's the other Jeopardy. one. Jeopardy. Jeopardy. I needed to have that song. Right. The answer is menopause. And the final question for the full house that Trisha had. What's the name for the thin and inflamed condition of the vagina, of the vagina designed during menopause? What's the name of the thin and inflamed condition of the vagina during menopause? And that's supposed to be the only answer left on your card. So everybody's supposed to get this quick answer. And everybody should be dropping. I full missed the question. Really? Ha! Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not gonna get full house because you didn't read that question for me. Really? I read all 25 questions. See, Trisha says bingo full house. <laughs> <laughs> so America, you are yes. not you are too happy with your three bingos. So you no, missed that's the only one that missed the, what when did you read the answer for the question for lubricants and moisturizers? I did not hear that. Oh, long time. Oh, we never hear that. The question was, what's the suggested non-hormonal remedy for the dry spell in the vagina? Oh, narrative? I didn't hear that one at all. <laughs> that was after your second bingo, by the way. So you were oh, too sorry. excited. I was trying to on. log on to you. I was trying to log on this thing here. So I missed it. So I full house. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Trisha. You got full house and bingo. <laughs> While the other ladies, well, Alrika missed out on Full House because she was too happy. And Marsha log on. <laughs> tried to log on. Okay, fine. You're, you're Okay, fine. You're, she was trying to log on. And then Marsha got, what, two Full House, Marsha? Or you didn't get more, but you just know what I'm saying. Just two. Okay. <laughs> yes, Trisha got the trophy. <laughs> So, so ladies, there's no grand prize, unfortunately, but don't worry. Next time we have a bingo game, there will be. I promise to do things a little bit differently in come January. So um, you can just drop in the chat. Um, <laughs> Marsha said, I was banned from saying bingo after the first two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's what's going to happen. Drop in the chat um, what you thought of this. Um, if this is something you can do again in a different way. Um, this was fun. This as, was so relaxing. As, as we go through, I'm learning how to do the things. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you who log on every first Sunday to join me on this crazy journey. Um, it came out of, as you know, from my first session, my having gone through a series of illnesses, not knowing what was wrong. And I thought that it is important to be more open and to share with other females that may be going through this, haven't started the journey yet, are at the tail end of the journey, but still don't know how to navigate um, what they're going through. So I thought it important to start this conversation, to ha have this kind of interaction with persons. Um, my aim is to always have a guest um, online, but that may not happen every single time we do this. But that is my plan for next year. I've already lined up one or two speakers um, for next year. I will still only be doing it on the first Sunday of every month because it takes a little, it takes a lot to plan actually and to put this stuff together. Um, so it's the first Sunday of every month. I will send out the schedule what I would love for you to do, um, which can help us because I'm involving all of you in this. You're my community and I'd love to continue to build the community. And the only way I can do that is there's interaction going on, especially when these videos are posted on YouTube, if there are interactions under the particular video. So if you like the video, you just need to click like. If you um, 
if you have a comment or a question, follow-up question, you can post it there. I always check to ensure that if there are comments there, I respond to the comments. And if there is something that you need answered, I try. If I can't answer it, I try to get the answer for you and put the comments there. And that will help to build the community that we are trying to build. Um, every single time I've done the live, this is the fourth one, and I've used different mediums to do it because I'm trying to see what works best. I actually like this one, so I'm going to try and stick with this. Um, I just need to work out some of the back end things to make it work more seamlessly. Um, can we do a menopause retreat sometime? Actually, that's a very, very good idea, Alrika. And um, you'll be on the planning team, right? That's actually a very, very good idea. And um, I had someone reach out to me recently they have they know someone who has written a book about menopause and another person who has an OBGYN who specializes in these kind of issues for women and I'm hoping to have both of them on early next year um, yes Alika this was fun I had fun even though it's as I said it was my first finger game and I had fun as well I'm really sorry we're not in a forum where we're all together. That would make it even more beautiful if all of us were in the same space doing this. But I know we can't. And what I love about this is that I can have people from Canada, I can have Connecticut, Florida, all over the world joining. And that is also good because we don't have to limit what we do because of where we are. Um, not a housekeeping. We won't have a live on December, in December. Um, however, from now on till the end of the year, every Sunday at this time, I will be posting a video, whether it be a snippet from one of the lives that were done before or something short that I've filmed with someone else. I will be posting those videos every Sunday at this time until the end of the year and then we go back live come january um or maybe february because i know come january everybody's still in their christmas mode they don't come out of their christmas mode yet so i may just do another recording for january and then we go live come february again um <clears throat> i've tried microsoft teams marshall but unless i have the business version or the school version it doesn't allow me to do this i wouldn't be able to stream and um it has some drawbacks with what i can do and what i can share from the personal account um so like the videos that i shared earlier i wouldn't be able to share them just like that i was trying to do that this morning but it wasn't working out from yesterday actually but it wasn't working out i'll try it again because maybe there's something that i'm not seeing so I'll try it again. But yes, um, Zoom, unless I'm using a paid version, I cannot do more than 40 minutes. And all of our sessions so far have gone over and over. So I don't want to use Zoom and then we get disconnected. But this platform that I'm using works and I can invite up to six people at any one time. So if there is something that I need somebody to do, I'll have the link is always in the chat. People can hop on and then if they hop off, somebody else hops on, that kind of thing. And it can work. Um, because most of you are shy. You don't want to come on stage. You don't want to show your pretty faces. You don't want to spruce up yourself before you come on the live. So yes. I know. <laughs> but for those persons who want to the option is there. And I do like the interaction because it makes me feel like I'm not up here talking to myself, which sometimes that's how I feel. All right. So just a reminder, we will not have a live in December. However, every Sunday at 6 p.m., I will drop a video in YouTube. And um, if you turn on your notifications, you will get um, an email or however it comes out to you that I have uploaded a new video. Uh, please remember to share these videos with your friends, other females who need the information and get them to subscribe and watch the videos as well. I thank you so, 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 so much for joining me this evening. I really, really appreciate it. And I have fun. Um, you know, next time we're having a bingo, we all need to have our 
wine or, or spirits of other kind so that we can have a better bingo party and have our, um, our wine and snacks or wine and cake or wine and cheese or whatever you want to have. We'll have that so that we can cheer each other on as we go along. So ladies, um, I don't know if anybody else has anything else. Yes, and pi oh. <laughs> you're most welcome, Trisha. It, 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 it was fun. These are the things I like to do. Um, and if you haven't checked out, and I'm dropping everything here now before I forget. If you haven't checked out my magazines as yet, I also have a magazine called Feel Good Magazine, which caters to women over 40. Um, looking at lifestyle, relationships, wellness, business, and fun. And that comes out twice a year. Last year, it was June and September. This year, it's June and December. And going forward, it will always be June and December um, until I can expand to do it four times for the year. But right now, it's twice per year. If you'd like to be featured in my magazine, if you have anybody you think... Um, wants to be featured in the magazine, you can always let me know. I'm open to suggestions, for ideas, um, whether it be for this or for the magazine or for my website. I am DeonceCeal.com. Everything is there. You can just go and feel free to check it out. I'm in the process of revamping it, but until it's fully revamped, the original website is still up and running with all of this information. And yes, Alric, I like that idea of pajamas. I probably have to get a different type of pajamas for this too. But yes, pajamas and wine, cheese, whatever your alcohol of choice. In fact, you just want to have a cup of tea like I was having, then that's fine too. All right. Thank you, Kenya, for joining. I really appreciate you guys giving up your Sunday evening to do this with me. It was fun. We learned something. Actually, I learned so much while putting these questions together. I had 30 questions, but only 25 could hold. Uh, so I'll save those five for something else. All right? But the video will be up on YouTube. You can share it with your friends. And I will drop some of the questions or some of the little nuggets in the chat section so in the comment section so that you can see that as well all right thanks guys it was fun have a good good sunday evening um enjoy the rest of your week may it be safe may it be productive may it be blessed all right have a good one thanks for joining and see you from january but remember there will always be something up on the channel so just keep on checking back all right Looking forward to the bingo prize. Okay. If you follow the, the, the comments under this video on YouTube, you'll see whether or not you're going to get a prize and what that prize is going to be. Because if I do get a prize to give away, then you'll be the first one to get it. See that you won it first. <laughs> Have a good night, ladies. And be safe. All right? Bye-bye. Night-night. <laughs>